Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video we have an Asus laptop. This one is an Asus with an AMD A10 processor with an you know, Radon graphic chip. This particular model is an Asus X550Z model and this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to upgrade the RAM on this model and the process is the same thing for all the x550 series so don't worry about if you have a little bit 550 different version this one is a 550z all right the tools that you're going to be needing is really simple uh opening tool for the opening tool i use the guitar pick this one is a metallic guitar pick or you can buy an opening tool if you want for the screwdriver set, I switched to down to iFixit tool set. These are really one of the best tool sets that I found out there after going through many of the tool sets, the screwdriver sets. They have a really nice uh, set. Um, the bits are really class S2, class steel. They will last you a long time. You're going to be using bit number zero Phillips from this tool set. Also, I'm not promoting this one by from them i just purchased this this is my opinion all right we're gonna start removing all the screws at the bottom cover and the only thing all the screws are the same size except three screws that are in front of the laptop these three screws are the short um, screws so keep these three screws apart so the three screws in the front these are the short ones now the rest of the screws the one in the middle and the all around these are the longest screws they are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching these screws also i want to take a minute to thank you guys for supporting my channel i see only a little bit of one percent of you guys subscribed or clicked on that like button it really helps and motivates me if you guys could subscribe or if my videos help you guys click that thumbs up button it doesn't cost you anything and it motivates me to make more videos and take requests and help you guys out all right once we remove the screws down here yeah this one is stuck there we go what you want to do you want to open it up a little bit in 45 degree angle you want to grab your own stuff the opening tool and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover right here just like that now once you have it in there you just want to twist it side to side and you want to hear some clicking those are the clips that are getting loose go all around to the side go all the way to the back corner do the by the heatsink side all the way to the back corner don't yank the palm rest don't yank this upward Otherwise, you're going to rip some cables. Lift it up slowly, and down here, you're going to see three ribbon cables. This big one right here has a little adhesive right on the back end of this side, so lift it up from the back a little bit so you can rip that adhesive apart. Now, we need to pull this cable backward. In order to pull it back, first, we need to unlock the jack right here just by pushing this towards the screen a little bit. Not a force, just the white portion. Just that little tiny bit. And then the jack will come out loose. This one is the palm rest. So lift up this black jack right here, 90 degree. And pull back this flex cable. This is the power on button. So lift it up, the white one, and pull back the cable. Now you can open the screen more and lift up the palm rest. So this is the palm rest right here. I don't know why they do this, honestly. I have no idea. The RAMs are on the other side of this laptop. They should have nicely left a little tiny hatch right here for you guys to be able to upgrade the RAM. One screw, one hatch, and that's it. Like every other laptop. But in this one, I guess they don't want you guys upgrading. Even with the battery, they could have put an external, they put it inside. Yeah, that's for another topic, another video. All right, first thing first, in order to get to the other side of the motherboard, you have to remove the hard drive by removing first this flex cable over 
So lift it up, pull it back for this another adhesive tape on this one. So lift, peel it up. Remove the three, four screws that hold the hard drive caddy in one in every corner. This is screw fell down there. there you go. And now what you want to do, you want to pull the slide the hard drive towards the USB drive right here. And you're going to see a gap opening right there and then pull it out and remove the hard drive. To remove the optical drive, there's only one screw right here. Remove this screw. And what you want to do, you want to slide, lift up a little bit the hard drive this side, lift it up a little bit. And then slide it back. Slide this one here, there's a connector all the way there. You can yank it up, there's a little hinges right here. But you have to slide it all the way towards outside. Next, we're gonna have to disconnect the battery by pulling this jack backward towards the battery. So grab it from here and then disconnect the battery right there. Next, we need to remove the Wi Fi antenna. Just lift up this antenna right there. To pull back the jack, this is the speaker jack. We need to disconnect the speaker jack by pulling the cables. Or if you don't want to damage the cable, just by pulling this jack backward by the black portion. It's really hard, so I'm just going to go work it around a little bit. And it should come out pretty easy. If you try to pull it this way, you might be able to scratch the board and damage some component. Remove the flex cable for the screen by pulling this off to the back. And now you don't want to yank it, you just want to help it from the corners. So put your fingernails right there and from this side, pull it backward and it should come out pretty easy. You don't need to, you can go ahead and untangle this, leave it on that side. Now we're going to remove a whole bunch of screws. So the one right here between the hard drive and the optic drive, one. Remove by the battery jack, another one. Remove the one by the speaker, by the flex cable screen, by the fan. They have a little white arrows. You see these white arrows? You want to remove these ones right here. So remove every screw that you see on the model pretty much. And there's one in the middle, remember? Don't forget about the one in the middle. The one by the flex cable, the keyboard. Once you remove all this, we also need to remove the screw by the fan. That one over there. The screws are all the same size. Now go ahead and let me see. There's nothing. There's one more screw right here. Remove this screw. There we go. Now you can go ahead and lift up the motherboard a little bit. And there's a power jack cable right here. So you might want to untangle this one a little bit to bring it over right here. And now you want to pull it backward and detach this one. It only one way goes in. And now you can go ahead and lift up the whole motherboard. Uh, flip over the motherboard and there you have the RAM. Look, this is, they even, you see this cover right here? Look what they did here. They put this one right here instead of putting it. This one is meant to cover up so you don't see through the, uh, these gaps here, you don't see the RAM. This is supposed to be like that. Well, as they cut the thing right there, so they want to cover it up pretty much. So grab this and trash this. You don't need so pretty much the airflow is gonna be better right there. All right, down here we're gonna see the RAM is right here. This is a DDR3 RAM. There's a two RAM demo slot available on this model. There's no GPU installed. It's an APU with a Heat sink, which is kind of a weird position. In order to remove the RAM, you have to pull these two triggers apart. So grab these two triggers and pull them apart. Let me see if I can do it without, like that. And the RAM should come out in 45 degree angle. Once the RAM is out in 45 degree angle, you want to pull it out in 45 degree angle. Once you get the new RAM in, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the dim right there and what you want to do you want to put it down in 45 degree angle all the way in push it towards the drum dim and then bring it down towards the motherboard and you're going to hear these two clicks there you go 
Once you got that one in there, you can grab the second RAM. I don't have a RAM right lying around. Grab it on the top shelf, put it right there on the top there, and push it towards the motherboard. That's how you can have two RAMs. I suggest you guys get two RAMs, then you're gonna have a dual channel memory, which is much, much faster than having a single RAM dim. We're gonna flip it back, the normal position. Before we put it down, let's go ahead and untangle this cable right here. So bring it over, untangle it from there and remove the jack. So you have more room to play around. Connect the jack right here, slide it in. Now go ahead and put down the IO side, the heatsink side down first. Make sure the cables are not in the way. This one over here. Bring it down to the bottom chassis, align it nicely. Bring it over. Connect this cable. Oh. Remove the Wi Fi antennas underneath. Bring it over. You can just push them down. It's like a, they're pushed in. You don't have to screw them. Just align it over and then make sure you hit that click. It's a snap on contact. Put the speaker cable right there. Now go ahead and put all the screws that you remove on the motherboard with the white arrow pointing towards them. Except this white arrow. And except this white arrow, this is from the other side. You want to put the screw wherever you can see the screw holes on the other side. So. Put the fan screw at the back here. All right, I have one more screw left. It's not there, it's right here. Okay, grab the LCD cable right there, bring it over, run it down. Now this one you wanna make sure it's really delicate. First set it down flash in front of the jack. There's no force, push it from the side. Make sure it goes all the way in and there's no gap opening right there. Push it from the side of the jack, just like that. Once it's closed up, there's no opening right there. Bring the tape over, put it right there. Run the cable for the power jack. And push it down in place. This optic drive is kind of broken, so grab the optic drive and slide it all the way in. Oh, and you see, okay. That one is broken. This one is broken, I don't know why. The client brought it in and they tried to super glue this end. So before we pushed in, this screw shouldn't go there. This screw wasn't from there, so this screw has to go over there. That means I am missing a screw somewhere over here that I'm supposed to put. I'll find it eventually. And there is there is one right here, so it's supposed to be right at the corner here. Alright, grab the hard drive, put it in an offset position, make sure there's a gap right there and it's sitting right down on the bottom and then slide it towards the motherboard. Make sure the screw holes right here match and put the four screws right on top. I made another video how to upgrade the hard drive for this model. If you want to follow that video, you can place an SSD drive, which is much faster than mechanical drive. Run the cable here, plug it all the way down inside the jack, hold it, and then close the lid. And one of the last steps down here will be to grab the battery cable, align it right there, the contact, and push it towards the motherboard. And the last step down here would be make sure there's nothing in the way. Put it, put the palm rest down first, set it right there at the back, bring it over, hold it down with the other hand. And now what you wanna do, you wanna open up these hinges right here. You slide down the flex cable between the top and the bottom cover right there. 
Hold it down and with the other two fingers try to close the lid. While I'm holding with the back finger, I'm holding it so it doesn't go in sideways. Lift up this jack right here, the black cover. Put the flex cable underneath, hold it, close the lid. Same thing for here. Lift it up, put the contact right underneath, and close the lid. And the last thing is to just pinch the top and the bottom cover both together and open it up and push down the sides. Make sure you hear those clicks if there's any clicking. And the last thing would be to flip it upside down, put the three short screws in front of the laptop and the long ones goes all over. And I really hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did, click that thumbs up button, I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.